Yeah, that's a uh, definitely a good cut. Nice. Hmm. It's a clean slice of the metallic sound body worn blades made when it made contact. It all matches with the when we know the crime know of the crime scene. That means the Pokemon that entered the mansion must have been Ponyward. But neither Roomsgart nor Ponyward remembers clearly. What's up with that? I can't imagine the Pokemon are lying. Their behavior are pretty unusual, but there must be a, a good reason for it. We've looked all over the place, but we haven't seen Ducklet anywhere. Apparently, she uh, almost got caught earlier, but then ran away. So maybe she's hiding somewhere. Then how are we going to find her? We couldn't get useful information from Pottyward. I think Douglas is our only good lead now. I guess we need to keep asking her around then. I don't know. Maybe she got scared and went into hiding. If she did... It'll be really hard for just the two of us to find her. Yeah. Uh, God. <laughs> How should we look for her then? Good question. How about we ask a Pokemon for help? A uh, Pokemon? Yeah. Pokemon have all sorts of sp uh, special skills. Maybe there's a Pokemon that can help us find Ducklet. Uh, the Puplet? P Lillipop? Sniff, sniff, sniff. Do you think they're, <laughs> they'd be willing to help us, though? I'm sure one of the Pokemon in the Dennis residence would gladly help us out. After all, the theft happened in their own home. Oh, fuck, that's right. Growlithe! Duh! <laughs> God damn it. Of course it would be Growlithe. Why did I not even think that? Jesus Christ on a cracker. My goodness, man. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Sorry, I was writing something down. Let's continue! Let's. Let's. What do you want? Oh, okay. I mean, if you want to get cut, <laughs> go about your ways, Pikachu. Look at the brun! You know what? I will talk to this guy. Phalanx! Lockstep formation. Uh, Lynx Lee. There sure are a lot of amazing Pokemon around. These ones are so well coordinated. Yeah. I remember like, uh... <laughs> because I was really into uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5 when I was playing this game where these guys were introduced. Um... I wanted to call this the sex pistols that Mista has, because there are six of them, which is very similar to his stand bullets being six, even though they say seven on the numbers because they skip four because four is bad luck. But I, I can't do that because, you know, copyright, or not copyright, <gasps> it's too can, um, because of the word sex. <laughs> is a no-no word in Pokemon names, so. Yeah. How wonderful to meet you, Detective. Seriously, it's an honor. Hi. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you too. Can I help you, or...? Huh? Did you really not know who I am? I'm kind of a big deal in Rhymes University campus, and I know you go to the school there too. Uh, who be thou? Know anything about this so-called big deal, Tim? Not, not that I can think of. They call me the quiz professor. I'm actually still a student, but that's what they call me. And this is my partner, a Tokanon. It's a cannon Tokan! Burning beak. I had one once, I called it Pearl. Because <laughs> I couldn't think of a name for it. And I was in, really into Steven Universe, sorry. I don't think I've even used it, I just had it to fill in my Pokedex, but that was it, yeah. Because the first four made me think of Pearl, that's why. 
So, uh, you're the quiz professor. That's me. I'm a major. I'm majoring in Pokemon studies. I can't resist sharing my the knowledge I've learned. So quiz, I quiz all sorts of people. That explains the nickname. This quiz professor is definitely on the eccentric side. Can all, can all. I'll admit, you got me there. A Pikachu doing detective work is pretty eccentric too. Why don't you celebrate our meeting with a quiz? Um, we're pretty busy working on a case right now. Okay, here's the first question. Oh my god. In one ear out the other. Wow, well, well, I guess it can't hurt to play along. It can. <sighs> I guess. Here goes nothing. What Pokemon catches prey using its long tongue? The Pokemon question is somewhere in this very city. So get out there and look for it. It's a fucking lick a tongue. What do you mean? What's your tongue like to 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 Cadden? Mind opening up that beak of yours? Can all. Nothing external here. Thanks. Anyway, a Pokemon with a long tongue, huh? If there's one nearby, it shouldn't take long for us to find it. When you find the Pokemon in question, come tell me what it is. I'll be waiting here. I already know what it is. Answer correctly, and I'll even teach you some trivia about it. Alright. I already know. What Pokemon can you just pray with this long tongue? I have to go all the way back to do it? Uh, whatever. I'm not coming back. Fuck you. It's right here. <laughs> That's a long tongue. I'm amazed it's so far. Say, Tim, that look at might be the answer to that quiz. I think you're right. It looks like he's petting the tongue. <laughs> also, the tongue is uh, in a very unfortunate position on my body. <laughs> Please help. I think you're right. Let's go tell the quiz professor. I gotta go all the way back. Why must I do this? What's even the point? So, Detective, did you figure out the answer to my first question? Yes! I sure did. It's a look at him, right? Ding -a -ling -a -ling. Bingo! Yes, you got it! Look at him uses his long tongue to catch his prey. According to reports, contact with the saliva causes a tingly sensation. Oh my goodness, it was on my crotch. As well as Persistent itch. Oh god, it was on my crotch! Oh well, good thing we didn't get licked. Hmm. <laughs> I got really itchy just imagining it. Canon. Thanks for warning, to, to Canon. We'll make sure that the lick tongue we meet keeps its tongue to itself. Well, that was only the first question. I guess it's a little, e it's a little too easy. Are you saying there's more? Of course, and here's where that gets serious. Time for question number two. What Pokemon uses cute looks to put you off of your guard so you can steal from you? Fucking Purloin. It's right over there. <laughs> Actually, where was it again? Hey, we don't have time to deal with another theft. Mm. What Pokemon tries to steal from people? I think the cute look part is our biggest hit. Pretty sure it's not you, Tokan. Can all. Totally. Okay, Tim. Let's go search for the area. Uh, the, the search of the area. Yeah, I know. It's a stupid cat I don't like when it's standing up on its hind legs. This guy. Why are you standing like that? What a cute Pokemon. Is it, though? That's a purloin. Her. Oh, how sweet. I think it wants some attention. No, it doesn't. Sorry, but we were busy. But we can play with you later. Hold on, Tim. Check your pockets. Why would I need to check my... Wait, what? My pen's gone. Not my pen. That's important. I thought so. This is your doing, isn't it, purloin? Can't pull one over on a great detective like me. Now hand it over. Pause where I can see them. Purr. Oh, my pen. Wow. You can't take your eyes off this purloin for a second. 
Yeah, that was a close one. But at least we figured out the answer to the quiz's question. Right, it's purling. Let's go tell the quiz professor. I will also say the evolution of Perline in 3D is disgusting to look at too. <laughs> it did not do well in 3D. So, detective, did you figure out the answer to the second question? Hi. Yes, the answer is Perline, right? Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. Perline offers still things from people. And they sometimes ask people... Or scratch people who try to reclaim those stolen items, so be careful of their claws. The Perlin we met wasn't that rowdy. But we should probably be careful in the future. True. Better than better safe than sorry. <laughs> better sorry than safe. Can all? It's asking if we agree that quizzes can actually be pretty fun. Eh, there's certainly a at leaf! There's certainly a chance to learn more about Pokemon. Okay. Let the quiz continue. Time for question three. Best buds always stick together. What Pokemon moves as a group? <laughs> Pokemon that moves as a group. Like one that travels in a herd or a flock or something? Nope. In this case, the whole group counts as one Pokemon. Is that even a thing? Yeah, we saw one over there. It's right, it's right there. Up, up there, the stairs. You can see it around the fence. Can you give us a hint to, to cat on? Kind of. Huh. Well, that's not very sporting. This Pokemon has quite the unique appearance. Go ahead and see if you can find it. It's right over here, bro. Lynx. Wow, this Pokemon moves in the unison. Blah, 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 blah. Then the middle for meeting trading. Pikachu, do you think Fa Lynx is the Pokemon the quiz professor was talking about? Six working together as one. Yep, that fits the bill. Then let's go tell her the answer. Ba 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 ba. So did you figure out the answer to the final question? Oh, thank God. I think so. The answer is phalanx, right? A bingo. That's it. Phalanx is a pretty particular Pokemon. There are actually six of them working together as one. The one at the front, known as the Brass, leads the others by issuing orders. To battle, they change the formation as needed and use teamwork to secure the win. That's a pretty interesting Pokemon. Sure, but I bet it's tough for the troopers if they got uh, incompetent <laughs> Brass. Can I? Yeah, sorry. I'm sure they're all perfectly competent. That's all for today's quiz. I hope you're as enthusiastic about quizzes and Pokéfacts as I am. Yeah, I learned a lot. Glad to hear it. I'll get the blah, 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 get some new questions ready for next time. Oh, okay. Please let them be easy ones. And maybe she could, you know, wait until we're not in the middle of something. That'd be great. Cut off. Yeah, see it's cat on. Two cut on. Okay, get out of here. I don't think I had to do that, but I did anyway. <laughs> I'm here, might as well, right? Oy vey. I guess I've done basically every little bitty quest I could do. Oh. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back inside. Let's talk to Growlithe and find Ducklet, please. I suspect you, sir. Where's your Pokemon? What kind of Pokemon do you have? Oh boy. Hi. Oh, it's you. Isn't your investigation finished already? I'm sorry, but it'll take a bit more time. This is absurd. We all know Burns did it. Would you give us a rest, Claudia? Burns just isn't the type of person who would do such a thing. Sounds an awful lot like wishful thinking to me. G God damn this lady. But I simply wanted to take a rare trap for himself. He's been playing, acting as a butler, perfect butler, and all he's serving us is a platter of greed and deceit. That's you. 
Just listen to yourself. How could you say that about a man who served us faithfully for so many years? Open your eyes already. Barnes has betrayed you. Please calm down, both of you. Barnes Douglas has was sighted a, a few minutes ago. We're hoping that when we find Douglas, we'll fi also find a clue. Oh, excellent. I'm certain you'll find proof that Barnes is innocent. And where is Douglas now? She got away. We're about to go search for her. Huh. Such incompetence. Hurry up and find her. It's not gonna... <laughs> fucking... What a... I'm sorry. She is a huge bitch. <laughs> I don't like this type of lady. Or person, really. Don't be like this person. Don't be a Karen. <laughs> it's not gonna uh, be easy finding Ducklet with just the two of us. Let's get some help from other Pokemon to search for Ducklet. Growlithe. Growlithe. Wow. She seems like she, we can ask it away. About your special skills. Do you have any special skills that might help us catch the thief? Cow. She says she's got a very keen nose. Nose uh, noted. That could come in handy. Maybe she can track something by following its scent. Yeah, that might work. Alright. Please. Uh, okay, well, do I have to deduce? Ha! Ah, I must deduce to sniff. It's a weird thing to say. <laughs> uh. Have we found a Pokemon with a skill necessary to help us search for Ducklet? Yeah, it's the only one. <laughs> I didn't look for anybody else. Just this one. Because, <laughs> like, what can fucking Clefable do? I'm sorry. I love Clefable, but fuck it, man. Let's think about the information we gathered. There it is. <laughs> yes. Good. Growla said she has a good sense of smell, right? Maybe we can use that to follow Ducklet's scent. We can sniff out Ducklet by tracking the scent she left on the seat of the crime. I bet Growlithe could do that. No problem. Good idea, Tim. Did it. Wow. Back to approval. Yes. Okay. Let's ask Growlithe for help. I hope she can help, uh, can find Ducklet. Help Ducklet find us, please. Say that backwards. Growlithe, I've got a favor to ask you and that excellent nose of yours. Well, I'd like you to help find a Ducklet. Gow? You said that wrong, I know. It's possible that Ducklet is somehow mixed up in this incident. She might even have stolen the key for that uh, from you. Oh, what if Mind Control Ducklet took the key because she was sleeping? That is also possible. Huh. Really need to, your help to solve this crisis. Gow. Oh, really? You've been wanting to help Dennis too? Gow, gow. Great. Thank you, Growlithe. Dude, Growlithe is such a good dog. What a good lion puppy. It's like Kobathon. They're nice. Huh? You want me to ride on your back? Can I? <laughs> I think you wouldn't fit. I'm too tall. <laughs> ah, so you can take me wherever the scent leads you. Got it. That should be a lot easier than trying to give direction to, at every turn. Cow. What do you think, Tim? You want us to track the scent down right now? Right away? Yes. Yeah. Can I leave it to you? You got it. Let's go, Growlithe. Okay. <laughs> 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 No? Oh, okay. <laughs> Pikachu is so awkward. Too much caffeine on you. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. This is the first time I've ever given someone a ride. She says this is the first time she's ever given someone a ride. Yeah, okay. Why did you have to repeat what I said? Oh, whoops. When it's just you and me talking, I guess I don't need to, to interpret for Tim. Anyway, let's get the search underway. How do you track the scent? I just sniffed the ground, and I can tell where the scent is strongest. Gotcha. Look for where the scent is strongest. Right. And this is still traces of Duckless scent inside the house. I think I can track it, her from there. Okay. Then let's get going, Growlith. Yeah. Alright, hold the R, which was R, R button. <laughs> Sorry, I always forget, I don't know why I forget my R's and L's because it's left and right. I, sh I should know this, but I I'm terrible with my directional buttons. I'm sorry. Um, while moving the following scent, to follow the scent to wherever you're looking, you can get off Pikachu by t going back to Tim. Alright. So I feel like, uh, hold R. Ooh. Sniff, 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 sniff. I'm sniffing, puppy. Sniff, 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 sniff. Here we go, here we go. I'm a sniffing boy. Well, girl, actually, in this case. I like the blue. It's really pretty. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Where does it lead, though? Where did she go? Okay. Uh, I'm picking up Ducklet's scent around here. Ducklet always leaves this way when she takes walks and goes shopping. Her scent is still lingering here. If we follow that spell, we could be able to find Ducklet. Let's well, track the scent carefully. Don't want to lose it. Right. Okay. It's this way. Here we go. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my god. Okay, this way. Look at her run. So happy. Oh, this way. Shift, 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 shift. It's in the park. Wait, this way. Oh no. Okay. Shift, 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 shift. I, I want to run. I want to run so much as her. She's so cute. Oh, there it goes. Uh, up the stairs? Up the stairs. Okay. Where up the stairs, though? Where are we going? Look at that happy little wacky tail. Ba -ba -ba. I do kind of like how we don't have to uh, keep going back to Tim to translate, but <sighs> Pikachu's voice is hard to voice. Oh. The pond. She was over here. Okay. Uh, and the bush? <gasps> the bush! Hello! This is it! Did you find her? Yeah! I'm sure of it! Come out, Ticklet! It's your pal, Growlith! Haha, <laughs> aspires for, to elegance! I love Ticklet! Mine was named Yalto. After Persona 4. <laughs> Character. <laughs> I was wondering who'd found me. It's good to see a friendly face. Wait, who's that on your back? Hi there, I'm the detective, P great detective Pikachu. And you're a friend of Growlis? I like to think so. Putting that aside, though, could you tell me why you're out here, way out here? Some strange humans were chasing me. It was really scary. I don't know what I was I could have possibly done to make them so upset. They think you may have been involved in a crime. Huh? What crime? Something precious was stolen from the house. And you and Barnes were currently under a suspicion. Say what? Neither of us has ever do something like that. I know. I don't think it was you. I'll need to ask you some questions to help prove your innocence. And Barnes, too. Is that alright? I guess. How about you? 
I'm Burns' partner. You're he. Uh, you're always helping out him. Uh. Oh my god, I cannot read today. Ooh, woo, woo. You're always helping him out because he's so busy, right? Like when you buy beans at Hi Hat Cafe. Barnes must have good taste, much like myself. You did. You drink that black water too? I tried it once because Barnes seemed to enjoy it so much, but I practically gagged when it hit my tongue. Too bitter. I, I'm with you, Ducklet. You got a doctorate, man. <laughs> it's a sophisticated flavor for a sophisticated Pokemon. Yes, well, I'm sure I'll be sophisticated like that someday. Just watch. Yeah, would you evolve? Hmm. Oh, sorry, <laughs> yeah, I burped. Oh my god, I, I want to burp again. <laughs> no, I don't want to, but it's coming. Could you tell me about Barnes? Barnes is my partner. He's a true gentleman. If you met him, I'm sure you understand what I mean. Yep. Though I think I might have him beat in the gentleman department. Pikachu, could you stop freaking... Right. Anyway, he's really good with telling uh, about telling me when I've done something well. I may not look like it, but I'm actually a really good swimmer. Barnes always compliments me when I show off my fancy swimming techniques in the fountain. No one that lovely could possibly be a bad person. Right? Right? Alright. <laughs> like I said, I don't think he did. Or did it. Don't worry, Declet. Real clear Barnes' name. Thank you, Galath. Uh, why are you here? Hmm. Why were you hiding here? There must have been plenty of other places you could have picked. This is my favorite spot. And like I told you, I got chased around by a bunch of strangers. I was feeling pretty ruffled, so I came here to calm down. Gotcha. See that water over there? I love bathing in it. Alright. Oh yeah? Maybe I should try it too. Well there, Growlithe. Aren't you a fire type? Aren't you pretty sure about that's a bad idea? Oh, good point. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sure. Walking by the water side feels lovely too. It's nice and cool. Without all the wetness. Sweet. I'll try that instead. Thanks, Ducklet. About the time of the incident. Hmm. What were you up to this morning before the incident occurred? All I did was eat breakfast, like I always. Then I got really sleepy. Not like always. If you fell asleep after breakfast, when did you get out? Well, at some point, Turner woke me up. I used to go out shopping at, right after Barnes asked me to. But today I was in a hurry because I overslept. So I rushed to grab my bag and it flew out from the window on the second floor. And you're sure it was Turner who woke you up? Yes, I'm sure. And Growlithe, you fell asleep too. Yep, but only because today's breakfast was so yummy. I guess I ate so much I got sleepy after. Do you two always eat your meals together? Not usually, no. I always eat with Camerot. What? There's a Camerot in this household? Yep. Camera is Turner's Pokemon. Oh. Huh, is that so? Wait, which one's Camera? Um, does the Fire Rock Pokemon? But strange that Turner's never mentioned that. Hmm. So, according to your story, Ducklet, you were out of on an errand when a crime took place. But because you were asleep earlier, you're not sure exactly what time you left. Yeesh. Even Ducklet doesn't know anything. How are we going to solve this case? You might, uh, you mean we m might never find the jewel? No, we still got time, uh, one more lead, the camera that Tuglet mentioned. I'm wondering why we never saw it in the mansion. How long was, was camera been gone? I don't know. By the time I noticed, he was already gone. We should probably go talk to him then. 
Can you track Camerot down by scent, Galath? If you have something that Camerot sent it on it, for then sure. Hmm. I just suppose you could use this. Wait. It's a bird? Cram Cramorant. What the fuck is Cramorant? I was thinking Camerot. <laughs> what? Uh, this is one of Camerot's feathers. Cram- Cramorant. Uh... Wait, is that the blue Pokemon that eats Pikachu? Uh-oh. Pikachu, careful. <laughs> it will just shoot you out. Is that the one? Oh my god. I don't remember all the Pokemon names after, like, certain gen. So, I'm sorry if I got this one wrong for a second. <laughs> I was like, camera rubbed. <laughs> uh, it's the blue bird. The water bird. The other water bird. That can have the fish or the Pikachu in its mouth. That's right. Just as I thought. Good thing I picked it, picked it up earlier. I thought it was a freaking Swablu. <laughs> With this, I can definitely track Cramorant scent. Kramer. Now we just fi uh, have to figure out where to pick its trail. Did it put it in its mouth? Oh my god, it's probably in the mouth of the bird. Of course it would be, dang it. Since Cramorant seems to have left the mansion, we should probably try around the front gate. What should I do? I'm really worried about Burns. I understand how you feel, but if you go home now, things will probably just get more complicated. Could you wait here a little longer while we solve the case? Okay. Please, I'm counting on both of you to take care of Burns. Leave it to us. Right then. Let's go, Growlithe. Why are you here? Okay, I guess we just have to go back to the front. Um, let's start again! <laughs> Happy puppy! Yay! Oh my god, I love Growlithe so much. It's such a good dog! It's such a good Pokemon. Can't go wrong. Bup, 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 bup. Well, did you get a whiff of Cremorant scent? Yes, I got it. It's Still quite strong, so Cameron is probably walking around here this morning. So we just need to follow the scent. Okay, Growlithe, follow your nose! Follow the nose! For Fruit Loops! I like the purple blue. It's really pretty. God dang it, why is the scent so beautiful? How are they so breathtaking? Or does Trubbish have it, actually? <laughs> like, it could have been dropped and the Trubbish is like, It's mine now! It's garbage! You never know. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Or freaking Big Chungus. He's not here now. Hmm. Interesting. Ha 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 ha. Look at that. We're going down the alley. Your Trubbish went. Am I right? <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. Where are you at? Where'd you go? Can't hide from my nose. Follow your nose! For Fruit Loops! The fuck? Is it right there? Hey Pikachu, over there! Could that be? Trubbish! Why are you sleeping? Good morning. Cramorant. Gulping Gourmand. <laughs> the best Pokemon. Trubbish. In Squalor Paradise. Yawn. Yes, it's Cramorant. Must be feeling pretty carefree to fall asleep in a place like this. We've been looking for you, Caramorant. What? Oh, hey, it's Growlithe. What you doing here? That's what I'd like to ask you. Huh? Wait, what's going on? Sorry to bother you when you just woke up, but you'd think you could answer some questions. Who are you? 
No need to be scared. I'm the great detective Pikachu, and I'm here to help you. Great detective, what's the Pikachu? Pikachu is my friend, and he has some questions for you, Camerot. Uh, he still doesn't know what's going on, but sure. What do you want to ask me, dude? Wait, God. Yeah. Are you Turner's partner, Cramorant? Sure am, dude. What about it? We were worried about you because you weren't at home. Really? My bad. About Turner. Hmm. Can you tell me about Turner? Turner's my partner. He's a good dude, dude. Me and him go way back. Cramorat is always helping Turner out with his duties at the house. If Turner calls for me, I head right over, no matter where he is. If I ever go shopping with him, dude, if he needs something carried, I just swallow it whole. Wait, you swallow it? Is that safe for anyone? It's fine, dude. Just rub my back, and I'll hork up a whatever filling my tummy. Lickety split. Bleh. More like lickety split. Bit. But I guess cameras are pretty built for that, huh? Uh, why are you here? Yeah. Why are you sleeping out here all of, us, of all places? Cause I got sleepy. I'm real sleepy after I ate breakfast. Why? Whom fed these Pokemon the foods to make them sleepy? What did they use? Whom did it? Hey, me too. Whoa, really? Hmm, so Douglas and the others all fell asleep. After that, Turner woke me up and I flew right out of the house. It sounds like Turner's the culprit. Why did he wake you up? Uh, because... What was it again? He said to go to the back alley, I think. You don't even remember that? Sheesh, what a guy. I kind of fell asleep a few times on my way here, too. But in the end, I made it. I was so sleepy. But right here, or right when I was about to snock out, zonk out, I found this choice bed. So I took a nap, dude. What bed? You're talking about me, by the way. You thought Trebuch was a bed? Yeah, dude. Like, super squishy. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> ah! It's a fucking bird. It's got something else. If you wanted to sleep, would it make more sense to go home first? I'm sure Turner's worried about you. Nope, oh, Turner. That's right, I gotta get back to Turner. Any particular reason? Because he's my partner, dude. Or wait, did he say not to go back? Which was it again? Hey, don't look at me. I really think you should go back. Turner must be worried about you. At, at the time of the incident. Hmm. I'd like to hear about Cramorant that was doing at the time of the incident occurred. You said you ate breakfast and got sleepy, right? Yep. You must have eaten a lot. Same as this? Uh, same as yous, actually. But even now, my turn is so stuffed, dude. Was it breakfast a while ago? Why are you still so full? I'm not sure, dude. My tongue feels the same as when I swallow something big. It's in the temptum. Something big, huh? Interesting. Okay, uh, one second. Interesting. Well, we heard from Crabrot, but his answers weren't very clear. Let's try talking to Frubbish. Huh? Me? Yeah, yeah why, why Trubbish? Did, did you need something from me? We're investigating a crime. Do you mind if we ask you a few questions? A crime? I'm sure I don't know anything about that. That's fine. You're not in any trouble. We just try to gather all any information that we can. Will you help us, please? I guess I could answer a few questions. About you? Yeah. 
Could you tell us a bit about yourself? Sure, but there's not much to say. Alright. Then, have you noticed anything strange recently? Strange? Well, I've been gathering trash from around here in the city, like I always do. Every day. You do that every day? Well, thank you. It's just my routine. I guess I did collect some unusual trash today. Does that count as strange? What was so unusual about it? It was stuck in Whimsicote's head. They were in front of the big house when I found it. The Whimsicott's getting st uh, stuff stuck on its head doesn't sound like it uh, all unusual to me. Pikachu, you can't say stuff like that. Trash is important to Trebish. Don't call it stuff. Uh, what were you doing here? Hmm. What brings you here? Well, I'm not great around humans. And humans don't usually come here, so it seems like a safe place. Did you, uh, d did they do something mean to you? No. I just don't like t too much noise. And humans are so noisy, don't you think? Uh, I guess. Anyway, this place is nice and quiet. <laughs> oh my god, I hope they're gonna get picked up. Just in case, I'm gonna do a little timestamp here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. About the trash. Yeah. Do you still have the trash that stuck to Whimsicott? Yeah, I was saving it for a snack. Why? Do you want it? I'd like to at least have a look at it. Could you show it to us? Sure, I guess. It's pretty crumpled up, but it looks like a note. Sniff, sniff. Hey, it smells like the rooms in our house. You mean Dennis's mansion? Hmm, that's interesting. Let us me see. Open the window after Barnes leaves. That will be the signal. Once the window was open, I'll send Ponderbart in with Whimsicott to cut the case. You should then be able to c collect the jewel. If you play your part properly, you should be able to frame Barnes for everything. And if you're successful, we'll both be coming into quite a lot of money. Good luck. Okay, so definitely is Turner is involved, but he doesn't sound like the mastermind then. Hmm. Interesting. But would it... I still think it's the wife. But could it be somebody else? <laughs> this is a note from the culprit. What? So the thief was, has an accomplice, huh? That must be why there was multiple Pokemon involved. Whatever the case, this is definitely a big clue. We need this. It basically gives Barnes an out. This is great, Pikachu. Sorry for the trouble uh, about this rubbish, but do you think we can have this piece of trash, please? Um, I guess if you wanted that badly, sure. Thanks. I'll be sure to make it up to you later. Yes. I guess we managed to ask everything we wanted to. Shall we head back home? Yeah. We got a good clue, so let's go meet with Tim again. Got it. What are you going to do, Krabberot? Want to come back to the mansion with us? Nah, I'm good. I'll head back at my own place. My tum feels like way heavy for, for that for that breakfast I ate. Poor Krabberot looks pretty uncomfortable. The gem's inside of his tummy. Okay, just rest here for a while then. Once you feel like you can move again, come on back to the mansion. Okay... Alright, let's head back, Rawleth. Yes. I swear, I, I want... <laughs> I want to touch his back. But we can't. Oigadi. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any like, special dialect from nearby them?
Yeah, Claudia is suspicious. She's a bitch. I wonder if she's like a gold digger. Like she married him just because he has money. It's totally possible. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> He's like, oh god, please don't shake. It's a loveless relationship. In that case. That sucks. Unfortunate. Ba -ba -ba -bo. Any butts? I think this case is basically solved, right? What more can we do? Got a piece of evidence? Camarot's the only one who's still uh, needing to be emptied, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Hopefully Turner doesn't get out. Stay inside, dude. You too. I don't trust you, man. Hello. We're back, Tim. Thanks, both of you. Are you getting <laughs> down off of Growlithe now, Pikachu? Yes. Can I get <laughs> down on my own? Oh, can I get you down? Psh, please. Who do you think I am? I can handle this. Go. Oh my god, he's a tumble. Mm. Oh, I was hoping to see him tumble. <laughs> How did the investigation with Growlithe go, Pikachu? About that, Tim. We found some incredible evidence. Really? What is it? Well, you see. Blah 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 blah. Oh, and that's about it. Wow, good work, Pichu. I think we're definitely closer to solving the case now. Yep. Now hurry up and open your case notebook. Let's think this over together and organize all the info we've got. Time to do it. Deducing time. Okay. Is there anything or is there something that can prove Barnes' innocence? The note. I think. <laughs> let's think of something that would be convincing to the police as well. I mean, the note is like extremely after Barnes leaves. He didn't write the note. That note Trubbish found. We can prove Barnes innocent with that, can't we? That's exactly what I was thinking. Here's what the note said. Open the window after Barnes leaves. That will be the signal. This is clear proof that Barnes isn't the culprit, and that the real culprit is still out there. Ba -ba. Ta -da. But there's nothing else. So uh, there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So there's someone out there behind all this. And not only that, there are, are multiple corporates working together. Someone who sent Pokemon in from outside, and someone f inside the mansion who let them in. Oh wait, actually, now that I think about it... I mean, it would have to be someone who knows the Pokemon in the area. Who be that? You think whoever the, the, uh, let the Pokemon inside lives in the mansion? That seems like the natural conclusion. But how did the culprit unlock the door of, of the jewel storage room? Only Barnes and Mr. Dennis can use the key, right? Usually, yeah. But the culprit found a way. A way to what? Think about it, Tim. When did Grella say the key disappeared? When she was sleeping. She said it disappeared while she was sleeping. That's right. And anyone could have taken the key while Growlithe was asleep. Hmm, I guess you're right. But Growlithe doesn't usually nap. Do you really think she just happened to nap right when, <laughs> when they were about to commit the crime? It's a setup. That's just it. Think back on what all the po different Pokemon in the mansion told us. Did you notice anything that happened in common? Anything strange? They all ate breakfast. They all went to sleep. Mm. <laughs> I mean, they did all eat breakfast. That's why I was like, wait a second. Look at the other now. <laughs> responses first before you click on that, man. <laughs> I hear Blue's at the door. He, he, dude, 
it's it's almost uh five and he's already like it's food time right it's not fucking food time yet it's like two hours from now <laughs> god damn cat <laughs> i love him though but jesus christ all the pokemon at the mansion said they fell asleep that's right tim glad you noticed that ba -ba 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 at the exact same time the jewel was stolen all the pokemon in the mansion were asleep there's no way that's a coincidence. You think someone wanted it to happen? I say the odds were pretty high. There's got to be some kind of evidence we can use to prove that. Let's search the mansion, Tim. Oh God, deducing. Uh, did you figure out what caused all the Pokemon in the mansion to fall asleep? Uh, let's see. They tired themselves off playing. No. They went shopping and tired themselves out. No. It was food. It's food related. Sir. Cool. Ask me anything you like. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um. Hmm. Some tea, visitor's coffee, blah, blah, blah. Who makes the food here? Do you make the food here? <laughs> Can you please talk to you again, Mr. Turner? Yes, of course. Ask me anything. Nope. Okay. Uh, do you have anything I can say? Faye? No? Do Hi. you have anything to say? Yes, we should appreciate the help. It, nope. Okay. Useless. Uh, oh wait, do you have anything to say about the food? Uh, nope. You... Please, if permitted. But what if I want to go in here? The place is done. Questioning barns. It's search room. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. What about you, doggo? Hey, Manic. Can we talk for a minute? Manic? Manic? Come on. No need to be that way. This will be quick. About the investigation. How the police investigation going? Have you made any new discoveries? Manic. Oh, come on. You can tell us just a little. Manic. Yeesh, not gonna budge, eh, Maddie Turk? The, the, bleh, the police have their reasons for keeping quiet. Maddie Turk is just doing his job. You bastard. You're not like this beautiful bird. Beautiful bird of my soul. Um. I take it that you heard what Mr. Dennis has to say. I'm guessing he also told you about his butler. He's definitely not pleased that Lawrence has fallen under suspicion. It sure seems that way. In my position, I'm not at liberty to say all the information we've gathered. But if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Thank you. Uh, oh, okay. What was the situation in the mansion at this time of the incident? We're still looking into that. I'm sure you've got more direct answers by asking the witnesses themselves. He's right. We should t uh, take the this one step at a time and gather our intel and in our own intel. Far about the drop. I hear the Aurora drop is an incredibly valuable jewel. Why? The Aurora drop's not that val just valuable. It's famous throughout the entire jewelry industry. There mu then there must be plenty of people who like to get their hands on it. Could the jewel have been stolen by an intruder? I can't rule out that poss poss possibility. But based on current events, I'd say the likelihood of a burglar is low. Okay, about my dad. Um, Inspector Holiday, I know this has nothing to do with the case, but... You want to know about Harry? Yeah. Do the police have any new leads on my father's whereabouts? I'm sorry, Tim, but we haven't made any developments on that front. Oh, uh, well, thanks anyway. I still don't understand it myself. Harry was working on the art case when he went missing. So we, it stands to reason that it's, if you followed the tr thread, you'd find Harry too. But the case has been closed and we still don't know. I have a clue. Seriously, where did Harry disappear to? Don't be discouraged, Tim. 
Look at how far you've come in two years since you moved to the city in search of your father. You've become such a great detective that the mayor himself recognized you with a reward. You'll find Harry, I'm sure of it. And in the meantime, I'll keep offering whatever I can uh, that I can, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Inspector Holiday. I like this guy. Also, blues at door. Stop. <laughs> I've talked to everybody. Whom else can I speak with? Um. Uh, I mean, I guess the only other person I haven't talked to was Camerot. But we did with Pikachu. But did that count? I don't know. Natimu, I'm going to go to the apartment. I'm going to go to the apartment. I'm going to I mean, yes, but that's what they have help. <laughs> also, there's not a lot of carpet. So I think it'd be a lot easier to clean than like the carpeted room. Also, blues. <laughs> I swear to Christ, stop. Honey, please. I love you, but you need to stop begging for food. It's not even time. Jesus. Let's go see if I can talk to Campbell or Aunt. If not, uh... Oh, there he is. Came out. It's turned its Cramorot. Stop it, made it back to the mansion, huh? Cram. Your stomach's so full, it's hard to move. Are you okay? Cram. Hey, we've got some questions we'd like to ask. Would that be okay? Cramorot. You're so full, you don't feel like talking. Come on, just try. Cram. If he can't talk, I guess we should just give him some more time. Or you could touch his back, like he said. Yeah. Let's check on Cremorant later. Well, what else am I supposed to do? I've talked to everybody. I've done everything. What more do you ask for? Well, I guess I could talk to the other bird. The other bird. <laughs> the other blue bird. The blue bird of happiness. Oh, what was that one song about the blue bird of happiness? Uh, something about like, I'm the blue bird of happiness, except for I'm not, but I'm your friend, except for I'm not your friend. <laughs> something like that. I don't. Um, I think it was by They Might Be Giants, if I'm remembering right. But I, I haven't listened to that song in years. Oh my god. I miss that song. That's a fun song. It's a silly song. But it's a song. <laughs> Don't worry. We're not here to catch you or anything. We want to hurry and solve this case for your sake too, Ducklet. Ducklet. No questions? Okay, then what the fuck do I do? Deducing. No. I know. I'm, I'm just I'm just clicking things because <laughs> uh, fuck you. Oh my god, so it actually stays closed out, huh? Well, I know it's not this. Can't be that. Maybe we won't shopping, blah 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 blah. I'm not reading that because I know it's wrong. Yeah, I know. What the fuck do I do? Whom do I talk to if I can't speak with the baby? Uh, cause I already talked to everyone. Did I not? Who am I missing? No, it's not you. Anybody out here new? Ah. I don't think Pottyware has anything new to say. Questions? No. Yeah, no. Also, I like the little <laughs> sharp noise sound effect. We're talking to him. 
Yeah, who the fuck? Whom else do I speak with? I talk to everybody. Uh, we never talked to this Pokemon. But I don't think it's her, no. I don't think he's related. Are you related? No, he's he's done. <laughs> he's done with us. Um bup, 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 bup. What the fuck do I do now? Help Somebody help me Catch you next time. No you won't. You leave her be. Uh did something happen? Yes. And I can't do anything with the bird. Uh. Oh wait, what is? Begin deducing. Get to sleep. But coffee. Oh, what the he hecky hex? Also, see them playing soccer. Um. I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> What do I do? What the? <gasps> There's a ba 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 right up there. A bond suite. What's it doing up in the raptors? Oh my god! There's more. There's another one over here. I didn't even notice. Oh my god. <gasps> There's three. Why do you have Pokemon in your house? Oh. I mean, I'm not against it, but I'm just wondering, you know. Okay, coffee, coffee, uh, what's that? Uh, there's some kind of walking rolling movie. It's a famous movie with the kids and their summer adventures. Wait, was that a reference to the first Pokemon? A bidoof. Oh, I didn't mean to click on it. Yeah, Real Tracks, the movie, okay. Also looks like a commercial for something else. <laughs> Whatever, yo. What the fuck am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Huh. Who do I talk to if there's anything to talk to? Hello. Roth Roth. Ra 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 ra. It doesn't look safe. Blah 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 blah. Don't touch. Says the sign. Bup bup bup. Bup bup. Um. Okay, same as before. Uh, oh, Pokemon photos you collected. Yeah, what? I can't see it. Your text is in the way. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I'm just wasting time now. I have no idea what the fuck I do next. Game. What do I do? I talk to everybody. Whom else is there to speak with? No one's talking to me. Camera's not talking to me. He's got something in his belly. It's just a gem. Hello? Anybody? You- and I've already talked to you. God damn it. No one will talk to me. Everyone has the same thing they've already said. What more can I get? Yeah, nothing. I guess the other one I didn't talk to was the person that was upstairs? Did I not talk to you? Let's search by police. So I can't go in there. Can't go nowhere. What the fuck am I doing? Uh... I wanted to be done with this arc. But apparently I'm still stuck. What am I doing? Growlithe. I hardly knew ya. Food. Oh, there's something. Oh, 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 here we go. Had to talk to the bull. <laughs> God damn it. I went all that. Whatever. There's some kind of soda powder in it. Hey, Tim. This is sleeping powder. Like a Pokemon? The butterfly? Well, how could you tell by just looking at a Pikachu? I have a Pokemon, remember? Not to mention it's a great detective. Of course. I can tell what kind of powder this is. Mm-hmm. I've not even something to brag about. Which means 
there was sleeping or there was sleep powder in the food. I think we can be pretty sure of that. Okay, let's do deducing. That's all I needed. Oh my god, I just had to talk to the bull. <laughs> Sucks. Did you figure out who called it? Yes. I, I mean, I knew what it was. I just didn't know how to prove it. I thought I had to go to the kitchen or something. Yes. Food is berries. Dude, I miss when Pokemon food looked like little kibble billet pellets things, like what Brock fed them. They, I know they were probably supposed to be like, um, like kibble, but it looks so moist. <laughs> like he really made it into something that was like edible wet food. <laughs> but more condensed in a way that they can like pick it up without making a mess. And I like that. I like that a lot better than the berries. I ain't against the berries. I'm not against Pokemon eating berries, but I'd rather it be something more like a Puffin or a, the, the... Oh god, what was that one treat called? The little um, like chocolate looking truffle things from Sun and Moon, I think it was. Was that Sun and Moon? Or was that X and Y? No, I think it was Sun and Moon. Maybe. I don't remember. It's been a long time. I'm sorry. <laughs> God dang it. The Pokemon in the mansion said that they fell asleep after eating breakfast. And in one of the food bowls, we found traces of sleep powder. That leads us to only one possible conclusion. Someone deliberately put the sleeping powder in the mansion to sleep. The Pokemon in the mansion to sleep with powder. Dun, 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 dun. Yay! Hmm. Oh my god, dude! That's getting easier to picture just how the crime was committed. But where could the culprit have gotten the sleep powder in the first place? In the city? I think I think of a few, few places. But if we follow the path that we use to bring it inside, we might learn more about the culprit. You'll need Grabless help again for that right. Why don't you take a little powder with you, just in case? One step ahead of you, Tim. Now let's go for a walk, Rowlith. Oh my god, this is getting longer than I thought. Holy crap, why is this case so long? Well, uh... I... I need to go to sleep. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to call it. Um... So uh, I guess we won't be finishing this case in this episode. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So uh, until next time, uh, bye bye Wow, we're, we're still in the same case. Like, <laughs> I think four episodes in? Oh, well. <laughs> it is what it is. Until next time, guys. Goodbye-bye. <laughs>